Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. So, Mike, from a, a st- strategic perspective for growers, what things do they need to be thinking about as, the, as, a, as they're planning their herbicide application? Yeah, so we're here, and this uh, wheat crop here is just, it's definitely at the tillering stage. We're, we're starting to get to the first node. The way you find out whether you have the first node on a wheat plant is you run, run your fingers up along the main stem, and you'll feel kind of like a, a kneecap joint on the stem, and that indicates the first node. That's kind of a, a nice time for herbicide applications. You generally want to scout and see what you have. Um, the main benefit of weed management in wheat, and winter wheat in particular, is harvestability, straw quality. Uh, yield benefit is is relatively modest compared to corn and soybeans, but there is a couple of unique opportunities that have presented themselves this year. We'll, we'll look at this here. This is perennial sow thistle. Coming up at, at the first node stage of wheat, that's pretty rare. This is a perennial species that typically doesn't come up until flag leaf stage. And so it's really uh, a unique opportunity to actually this year uh, manage that. Now, here's the expectation. Because this is a perennial, if we lop off that top growth, it has all these rhizomes underneath that are going to shoot up new new shoots. So even if we control this with a herbicide, uh, we'll get new growth coming up later on. But when it comes time to harvesting this field, it'll be so much easier to get through than if we did nothing at all. And then, of course, we have other species here, the winter annuals. This is an example of Canada fleabane, and that's at a a really nice stage for control. You don't really want to get bigger than this. The other benefit of controlling a species like this in particular is we have glyphosate-resistant populations of this species in Ontario. Let's stop it from producing any more seed. I don't know if this is resistant or not. Who cares? Well, let's stop it from going to seed. And then we have other things here as well. We have our perennial south thistle. We saw some uh, spiny annual south thistle there too, a very small one. Uh, The south thistles, they produce a lot of seed, blow around. And so you're starting to see, one, the emergence of annuals. You're seeing those, those winter annuals that are at a nice stage. And then you have some perennial weeds. This is almost perfect timing for weed control. Uh, first node, you got some perennials, annuals, winter annuals. Uh, you're not going to find a better time to, to kill weeds. So Mike, let's talk about some of the things that growers don't do right or some of the things that, that they can do better. Talk about uh, maybe managing some specific weeds. Yeah. In weed. yeah. So uh, now's a, ni- a nice opportunity to look at uh, what's going on in your field and maybe make some adjustments for, for the future. This uh, species we all know as dandelion, it drives Peter Johnson nuts. He hates seeing these in dandelions. The reason he does is because you get a big whopping sucker like this. It's uh, 10 inches in diameter. We could throw uh, Astaprop at it, we can throw Infinity at it, different products, but they're not going to do much to it. They might take the blossoms off, but look, the damage has already been done. What do dandelions do? They they inhibit uh, uh, wheat stand, right? You can see here we've, we've physically obstructed plants from germinating coming up compared to here, a row where we don't have it. We lessen the population. So the damage that this dandelion has done happened in the fall. So now it's just kind of revenge spraying. So what do we do to get rid of this kind of stuff long term? And it starts this fall. It starts with after the wheat crop comes off, uh, spraying glyphosate in the fall because this is a perennial weed. You take glyphosate up in the fall, it goes down to the roots, it does a much better job of killing it then than in the spring. Uh, if we have this crop underseeded with red clover, let's wait till the end of October because that's when we know the red clover crop is, has got all the biomass and nitrogen credit potential as possible. If we don't have red clover, I think we can go in mid September. That's job number one. And then when we go to other crops like soybeans, doing a pre plant burn down with that's kind of key. And then lastly, if we're, we're planting a winter wheat crop, uh, even if we take that soybean crop off, go in, chase that combine with a drill, plant it, I still think there's an opportunity to go in post-plant the day after, spray glyphosate to, to kill these dandelions in the fall so they're not obstructing those plants from coming up. Let's, uh, let's make Johnson's life easier. Let's get rid of these bad boys. Mm-hmm.